today's presentations in council confirmed a key part of not only my campaign, but the campaigns of many of my council colleagues, and that is optimism for Calgary's future. And while recovery is clearly going to be slow and steady, the recovery also gives us opportunities to plan and imagine and perform with more foresight than some of the boom and bust cycles that we've become so accustomed to and what has characterized our history. So let's be clear, today's presentations are not a clear indication of recovery so much as they are recognition that recovery is absolutely possible. We, have, we must take action to ensure that Calgary is in a position to succeed and this means focusing on returning our downtown to prosperity. It means ensuring that we have affordable housing options and flexible housing options for all Calgarians. It means strengthening our partnerships with Calgary Economic Development, Tourism Calgary, the Calgary Stampede, and the Chamber of Commerce so we can continue to attract and retain people to our city. This council is going to be asked to create a strategy to enable the return of economic prosperity while recognizing the climate emergency. These two elements are absolutely not mutually exclusive. In fact, recognizing the climate emergency is a needed step towards economic opportunity in a world that's focused on a path to net zero. We brought in a, a consultant that worked uh, side by side administration for a couple of years and we looked at all of the services across the entire city and we tried to find some again where are opportunities that we can cut back at the same time without impacting the services that citizens actually experience and feel every single day. We've gotten to the point where in my opinion and I think CFO Mail would probably agree that any further reductions that we put into place is going to have significant impacts on the services that we provide. So we've done a really good job making sure that hasn't happened to date. And you've probably heard me over the last year tell the last council that we're pretty much at a breaking point where we've done what we can. I think I made the comment today that the cupboards are pretty bare when it comes to additional savings. Uh, we will continue to explore savings. We'll continue to, that's what we do. As public servants, every single day we're finding ways to be more effective and efficient. That will continue, but the solutions for achieving, uh, for achieving value and excellence program has done what it was meant to do. It didn't quite get to the target that we were hoping at 85-ish million dollars, but we came pretty darn close to 60 million dollars. But uh, we will continue to find opportunities where we can save, but at this point in time, we're at that point where we probably do strongly recommend to council that there's, if you wanna move ahead on some files, we need to start to reinvest. I think serving the best interest of Calgarians should not be stuck on a number. I think what we need to do is figure out what it is that people are seeking to have a great quality of life in our city and then we figure out what the numbers look like from there.